good you're here. I said I would be. Here. Thank you. So, do you have what you need? I do. Yes, I do. Where is it? Um, it's in the garage. Listen, don't worry about it. I don't need your help lugging it in, okay? Uh, how about this? Hmm. I will give you extra if you distract them. Just for, like, give me, like, two, three hours, okay? Everything will be done. You don't have to worry about anything. Just, you know them. Just ask to hang out or study or whatever. You, you know the drill. You owe me more if things go wrong. Yes, I will give you extra compensation if things go wrong. Good. Perfect. <sighs> All right. Let's do this, I guess. It's now or never. There you are. I see you're awake and kicking like a newborn baby. Hmm. All right, let's get you out. Okay, all right, stop, stop struggling. All right, okay, all right. <clears throat> Shh. You have to be quiet, okay? We can't wake up the neighbors with something as trivial as this, all right? I don't want to get in trouble. Especially not because of someone like you. So just sit there and relax, calm down, and I will be back soon. Okay? I'm going to tell you a really quick story. Just nothing too complicated or detailed, but just something to help explain everything. Okay? So be a good girl and keep quiet. Okay? Once upon a time, there was this little girl, you know? She lived in a beautiful home with a great, loving family. You know, a mom, a dad, you know, a sister, a younger brother. You know, all one big happy family. That little girl was very well behaved. Even from a young age, she never stepped out of line, talked back, only spoke when spoken to or prompted to did her chores, got A's on everything she did in school. She just was an angel of a child. She was what parents wished they had. But you see, there is always another side to a story. It's never just one single viewpoint, you know? You see, that girl wasn't naturally well-behaved or quiet or mature, if you would like to call it that. No, she had to learn to be like that. Well, I don't even think learn would be the correct word. That would um, assume she, you know, wanted to. Um, every single time she would talk back, not complete a chore properly, not get an A or fail something, basically, if she lost anything or if she talked back, or if she fought back, she would always get something taken away from her. It could have been something trivial, you know, like a stuffed animal, pieces of clothing, you know, bed sheets, uh, pillows, a mattress. Um, so what do you do when you are in a situation like that? You learn to not step out of line. If you want to keep everything you currently have, keep to yourself and no one will come and take it. So that little girl was obviously not in a position to do anything. She was a dependent. You know, if she fought back, she suffered the consequences no matter how much she kicked and screamed. So she didn't really find the point in doing that, you know? So for a while, even just the slightest bit, of back talk, which really to her parents was anything that they deemed disrespectful, a uh, rolling of the eyes, a uh, slight click of the tongue, um, that prompted them to taking something away from her, something that meant a lot to her. And after a while, that that trauma, that emotional trauma, kind of builds, you know, especially when you are emotionally attached to something. 
it's a it's a um a stability in your life and to just have it ripped away from you with no mercy yeah that's certain to send ripples through your childhood even into adulthood so when that child reached high school age 14 15 she decided she if she found something that she truly wanted something that couldn't be replaceable or couldn't be replaced or other things couldn't live up to it she would never let it go she would not risk losing it like she lost everything else in her childhood and that's why you're here that's why i'm here do you get it now do you understand why i'm doing this why i have to do this that person has been the only stability in my life for the past, what, five, six years? And you're just going to come in and take it away from me like my parents took everything that I ever loved away from me? No. I'm not that five-year-old girl who would cry in the corner of my closet because I got my stuffy ripped away from me. No, I'm old enough and I'm strong enough to fight for what I deserve to keep, for what is rightfully mine. And someone as pathetic as you isn't going to get in the way of that, okay? I'm sick and tired of people walking all over me and assuming I'm the golden child in my family because I never spoke, I didn't do anything bad. They didn't see what was going on behind closed doors. And I don't plan letting anyone see what happened behind closed doors except for one person and if I want to be able to do that to be able to finally have them to myself without any outside distractions then you need to go it's nothing personal towards you but it is personal for me and because of that I'm afraid your little game with them is up. <laughs> <laughs>